As a winger, your job is to help your team score goals. Not only do you need the ability to put the ball in the back of the net yourself, but you also need the ability to deliver pinpoint crosses to give the assist for your teammates. And today, I'm gonna to show you three ways you can improve your crossing. So for the first exercise, we're just gonna work with a stationary ball. Working with a stationary ball is a great way to develop your crossing technique before getting the ball on the move. So we set up an area inside the box and this is gonna be our target area to cross the ball into. And I've specifically placed it between the six yard box and the penalty area because stats show that the most goals are scored from crosses in this area. So we're gonna place the ball down, take a few steps back, and I like to approach the ball from 90 degrees towards my target. This allows me to wrap around the ball and really get that whipping technique that makes it really difficult for defenders and goalkeepers to deal with. And then the goal is to simply whip it into the box and try and make it land in that target zone that we've set up. And I'd recommend for the first exercise, trying it out from all different angles so you can be more adaptable when it comes to a match situation. And a couple of key points for striking the ball. For me as a right-footed player, I wanna hit the lower right-hand quarter of the ball. And I'm gonna angle my foot slightly upwards, so I strike up on the ball, which generates that right-to-left movement to give it a little bit of bend. And because I'm striking up on the ball, it's gonna give it a little bit of dip to allow it to land in that target area. And with my follow-through, I really wanna wrap it across my body. That just gives it that extra spin, which is really gonna improve your whipping technique. For the second exercise, now we're gonna get the ball on the move because unless you're taking a free kick chances are the ball is going to be moving in a match so we need to practice this in training so for this exercise you can either have the ball in your hands or you can juggle it a few times but you're going to kick the ball above your head and then you're going to take a directional touch out of your feet to set the ball up ready to cross it into the box so with your first touch you're reenacting almost like a ball has been played in from a midfielder and you want to push that ball out of your feet 90 degrees so it's a good preparation touch so you can naturally come onto it with your next touch and cross it in with the same technique that we used in the first exercise so you can start by either throwing it above your head or juggling it a few times and you're going to kick it up take that touch out of your feet prepared ready for the cross and then come onto it first time and strike it into the target area And for the third and final exercise, now we're gonna work on our dribbling and crossing. So there will be instances during a match where you actually need to beat the defender to create that little bit of room to cross the ball. So for this exercise, we've just placed a cone out wide and this is gonna be our defender and we're gonna dribble directly at that cone. You always wanna dribble directly at the defender from a wide position because this keeps them guessing whether you're gonna go right or left. If I automatically take the ball down the line, the defender already knows what I'm trying to do with the ball. So if I go at the defender, it gives me options to go both to their right or to their left. So all we're gonna do, dribble directly at the cone, small touches, and when we get to the cone, we can work on our 1v1 skills. And I'd recommend mastering two to three moves that you can perform consistently and at speed. So you can use them on demand during a match. So whether that's a step over or it's just a body feint, whichever suits your style of play. But after you perform the move, you want to push the ball 90 degrees so that your next touch, you can then cross the ball. So you don't want to take that defender on, get by them and then take extra touches because that gives the defender more time to recover. You really want to perform your move and then exit by taking a good touch out of your feet and whip it into the box. So there we have it, three ways you can improve your crossing and get more assists for your team. Bomb7 and Mussy, until next time, I'm out.